Hi everyone. As you can see, I am outside today. What do you see going on behind me? Do you see the trees moving? Yeah, it's a little windy today. So if you hear anything on the microphone that sounds like rumbling, it's probably the wind. You might also hear wind chimes because there are a lot of wind chimes back here hanging up. So if you hear any tinkling wind chimey sounds, that's what you're hearing. Today I have a book for you called Ladybug's Birthday. And because it's springtime, I thought it'd be good to keep reading books about bugs. And this book is not only about this guy right here, who is a ladybug, as you can see, but it's got a bunch of other bugs in it as well. So let's start reading Ladybug's Birthday. It was Ladybug's birthday. Oh my, oh my, Ladybug said to herself. My two guests will be here soon and I'm not ready for my party. Ladybug busily swept her floor. If my house were bigger, she thought, I might have invited a few more bugs, but it's just too small. As Ladybug put out a bowl of green leaves, she heard a knock on her door. She opened the door and said, Hello, butterflies. The beautiful butterfly twins bounced in. They gave Ladybug butterfly kisses. Happy birthday, Ladybug, they said. Ladybug was about to offer the butterfly twins some green leaves when she heard someone knocking again. Who can that be? Ladybug asked. We forgot to tell you, the butterfly twins said. We invited some other bugs to make your birthday party more fun. I don't want more bugs, she thought. But she opened the door and said in her sweetest voice, Hello, spiders. A sprinkling of spindly spiders walked speedily inside. They were wearing sparkling hats. Happy birthday, Ladybug, they said. Well, said Ladybug, I guess a few extra bugs in my house will be okay. Just then she heard another knock. Oh my, oh my, now who can that be, she asked. We forgot to tell you, the spindly spider said. We invited some other bugs to your birthday party. Ladybug opened the door in her in nicest voice and she said, Hello, fireflies. A family of flightly fireflies flew inside. Happy birthday, Ladybug, they said. The flightly fireflies explored Ladybug's house, flying here and there. This is not what I expected, Ladybug said to herself. Just then she heard knock, 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 knock. Oh, we forgot to tell you, the flightly firefly said. Some other bugs are coming to your birthday party too. What happened to my quiet little party, Ladybug thought. She opened the door and said, Hello, crickets. A crew of crickets crawled inside. Happy birthday, Ladybug, they said. Night was falling and the one lamp in Ladybug's house wasn't giving much light. My house is too dark, she said. Ladybug was about to look for a candle when, knock, 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 knock. Oh my, oh my, here we go again, Ladybug said. Ladybug opened the door and said, hello, bees. A bunch of busy bees buzzed inside. Happy birthday, Ladybug, they said. Thank you, she replied. It's so nice of you to come. All of a sudden, Ladybug heard loud noises. She turned around and saw crabby crickets poking at spindly spiders, busy bees buzzing at beautiful butterflies, and flightly fireflies flying into one another. Enough is enough, Ladybug shouted. This is the worst birthday party I've ever had. I'm sorry, but all of you must go. And with that, Ladybug sat down and cried. The bugs stopped what they were doing. What's wrong? asked the butterfly twins. Everything, replied Ladybug. There's not enough light and it's too hot. There's no place to sit and I've run out of food and all of you are fighting. Everyone was quiet for a few moments. I know what we can do to make the party better, said the butterfly twins. What's that? asked Ladybug. Just watch, they replied. The butterfly twins flapped their butterfly wings. It's getting cooler, said the crickets. Yes, the breeze feels good. Ladybug began to smile. I know what we can do, said the fireflies. What's that, asked Ladybug. 
Just watch, they replied. The fireflies twinkled their firefly lights. Thank you, said one of the spiders. Now I can see better. Ladybug's smile grew wider. And I know what we can do, said the spiders. What's that? asked Ladybug. Just watch, they replied. And the spiders spun spiderweb chairs. This is a wonderful chair, said one of the bees. It makes me want to buzz. Now Ladybug was giggling, but we're still out of food, she said. Not for long, said the bees. We know what we can do. What's that, asked Ladybug. Just watch, they replied. The bees quickly flew home to get beehive honey. This honey is delicious, said the firefly, glowing even brighter. Ladybug laughed out loud. Now all we need is some dancing music, Ladybug said. We know what we can do, said the crickets. What's that, asked Ladybug. Just watch, they replied. The crickets rubbed their wings together to make cricket music. Soon all the bugs were dancing, some on the floor, some on the walls, and some on the ceiling. Ladybug was dancing too. This is the best birthday party I've ever had, said Ladybug. Thank you all so much. Wait, said the bees, where is the birthday cake? Then they all heard, knock, 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 knock. Ladybug opened the door. Two grasshoppers hopped in with a big birthday cake. Now it's a real birthday party, they said. And together, the bugs sang, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear ladybug. Happy birthday to you. The end. I hope you enjoyed that, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.